When an airplane rolls into a turn, one aileron is raised and one aileron is lowered. The lowered aileron has increased the angle of attack on its wing. Remember the angle of attack is the angle between the cord line and the relative wind. The cord line being the line from the leading edge to the trailing edge. Since the trailing edge has dropped down now with the aileron being lowered, we've increased the angle of that cord line, increased the angle of attack, which means that wing is producing more lift, that's why it raises up. When it produces more lift, it also produces more induced drag, which remember is the drag that occurs as a byproduct of lift. So the raised wing is going to experience more induced drag than the lowered wing. With the raised wing experiencing more induced drag than the lowered wing, there's an imbalance and this causes something called adverse yaw. So if this wing is raised and this wing is lowered, the airplane's going to turn this way, but with that difference in induced drag, as you roll into the turn, the nose is going to yaw in the opposite direction. 